The Monitor ST is the gold standard for studio reference. Input source selection, speaker switching, cue system, talkback functions, and headphone amplification are all neatly tucked into one rack space and controlled via the comprehensive customizable remote. As with every dangerous music product, painstaking measures are taken to create complete functionality with zero audio compromise. Expansion to 5.1 is simple. Just add the Monitor SR. Need to go further? Bring on the additional switching system. The Monitor ST solves the conundrum of today's complex monitoring world without masking reality. Headphone monitoring and QAMP out. A 20-watt headphone amplifier provides serious headroom, thus allowing the talent to audition with intelligibility and dynamics, the keys to unlocking a great performance. Meanwhile, since it sounds stunning, the engineer can make intelligent mix decisions. The jack field may be accessed via the front panel or the QAMP out on the rear. Either of these may be sent to a headphone distributor for up to 16 headphones. Note, watch your headphone impedance values. Talkback mic, level and remote. Communicate with the talent via the built-in talkback mic directly into their headphones. Set the level and hit the talkback button on the remote. Need to park the monitor ST in the machine room or a whisper rack? No worries. Just plug in a mic, and you're ready to bark. This time with feeling! Have an animated executive producer that wants in on the dialogue? No problem. Just set them up with their own remote switch. This time without feeling. Note. To order a dangerous remote switch, request a TBREM from your local Pro Audio grocer. Press check out to... Two. Need the talk back to be sent to the session? Simply employ the slate output. Mains to Q. Aux input to Q to main input 4. The mains to Q sends the selected control room audio to the Q amp out and phone's output. So if your master mix is perfect for the Q mix, don't reinvent the wheel. Just pipe it into the talent's cans and open up your own can of something to celebrate with. The aux input to Q and to main follows a separate audio path from the main inputs. It takes the aux input from the rear panel and sends it to the Q amp out control room speakers, or both. So for example, if a separate cue mix was set up for the talent, it would be accessed here while allowing the engineer to monitor it when desired. Accessed here on the remote control. Or use it to monitor the computer's built-in output jack to audition sample libraries, or audibly monitor when software updates are complete. The input 4 level knob allows volume adjustments to be made as necessary. For example, the client wants to compare a mastered CD against your unmastered mix. Of course, the mastered version is at least 8 dB hotter. No problem. Just drop the CD's input level to match with the current project mix level and keep your job. Note, either plus 4 dBU or minus 10 dBV analog devices may be utilized. Color coding. Blue buttons are for programming gain offsets and system configurations. Green buttons are for input source, speaker selection, and subwoofer filter assignments. Orange buttons engage additional switching, mono, aux to main, talkback, and dim. Red buttons are for speaker mute solo functions. Analog inputs. Silently switch between four analog sources that are connected via the DB25 at the rear of the rack unit. Remote control is achieved via a single shielded CAT5 connector. The input four level knob allows volume adjustments to be made as necessary. For example, the client wants to compare a mastered CD against your unmastered mix. Of course the mastered version is at least 8 dB hotter. No problem. Drop the CD's input level to match with the current project mix and keep your job. Note, either plus 4 dBU or minus 10 dBV analog devices may be utilized on any input. To select the level, press and hold the setup button for one second. It will turn solid blue. Then select the input to modify. The selected input will flash green. Now use the gain button to toggle between plus 4 dBU, clear, and minus 10 dBV, solid blue. When the appropriate choice has been made, 
Press and hold the setup button to save and exit setup mode. Additional switching. The additional switching buttons are there to perpetuate your plan for worldwide audio domination. <laughs> Need four to 16 more pairs of digital inputs to toggle between? Looking to control an RS-232 video switcher? Just add another additional switching module whenever system expansion is required. Up to four units may be utilized. Additional switching buttons. On the Monitor ST remote, first use the up and down buttons to select the appropriate bank. The remote's LED will verify which bank is active. Then choose the input by using the additional switching one through four buttons. This is how the remote can control up to four additional switching system devices. Surround buttons. To expand the monitor ST from stereo to surround, simply add the monitor SR and navigate with the surround buttons. Speaker selection. Seamlessly switch between three different sets of monitors. Choose whether to share a sub with any combination of tops and if the low pass filtering option is desired. Engaging the low pass filter removes the mid range frequencies and above from the sub so they won't interfere with the main speakers. Tech note the low pass filter is a 57 Hz 3 pole Bessel Chebyshev hybrid. Once the preferred combinations are determined, they may be stored for instant recall. No external software or computer is required. The benefit? Buy one sub to share across three systems. With complete level and low pass programmability. Level offset programmability. To program the levels, press and hold the setup button for one second. It will turn solid blue. Then select the set of monitors or sub to modify. Your selection will flash green and the bank LEDs will indicate the original level in green. Now use the up down buttons to move between unity, minus three, minus six, and minus nine. The bank LEDs will indicate the new level in red. When the appropriate choice has been made, press and hold the setup button to save the changes and exit setup mode. Mono, aux, talkback, dim. The mono button combines the left and right channels to the monitors. Use this to check phase. Did things get quieter? Louder? Instruments missing? This is an indication that the left and right are not playing nicely together. Note. Many formats are still delivered in mono. Consider television and radio in developing countries where the population is 5 billion strong. And of course, every club and live music venue. The aux button routes the audio from the auxiliary input to the control room speakers. For example, feed the talent's click track here and monitor it as desired, or connect the computer's headphone jack here to audition sample libraries and audibly monitor software updates. Note, the aux input to main knob on the face of the unit determines the level. Note, the aux level is unaffected by the analog stepped attenuator. To create a listen back mic in the live room, link the aux input and the talk back in setup mode. To program this, press and hold the setup button for one second. It will turn solid blue. Then select talk back. It will turn solid orange. Hit the aux button. It will turn solid orange, indicating that it's now linked to the talk back button. To press and hold the setup button for one second to save your changes and exit setup mode. Now as you toggle the talk back switch, the aux indicator will light as well revealing that linkage has been achieved. You know, Bartholomew, I think this engineer is a real putz. Tip. Adding a small submixer to the aux input can be a convenient way to patch and mix signals into the ST system. The mixer can set the listen back mic level, the computer cue, or headphone out level, and still have inputs left over for a click track and other signals. Boom, 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 let's go back to my room where we can make it all night. Talkback. The talkback switch injects the microphone into the headphones. Perhaps you need another shot. It can be set to automatically dim the control room speakers or not. Simple, clear communication is paramount since the producer's goal is performance capture. 
The factory default mode is set to dim the monitors. To alter this, press and hold the setup button for one second. It will turn solid blue. Then select talkback. Both the talkback and the dim button will turn solid orange. Hit the dim button. It will turn clear, indicating that it's no longer linked to the talkback button. To press and hold the setup button for one second to save your changes and exit the setup mode. Now as you toggle the talkback switch, the dim indicator will not light, revealing linkage has once again been achieved. The dim switch lowers the monitoring volume by 18 dB, thus providing instant level change for conversation or for ear breaks. Moment toggle. Moment toggle is extremely useful. It has two modes, momentary or latching. In latch mode, if a button is pressed and released quickly, it will lock. In toggle mode, if a button is pressed and held for more than a second, the function remains on until the button is released. For example, want to dart between mono and stereo a few times quickly? This is toggle mode. Or do you need to leave it in mono to see what's ailing the mix? This is latch mode. Need to bark Rolling. over the talkback mic to the talent? Or leave it open for a lengthy discussion between the singer in the tracking room and the drummer, drunk in the control room, blooming with epiphanies. Oh man! Could you please? Mute, solo, talkback, dim, and mono all employ the magic of moment toggle. Speaker mute solo buttons. Mute any speaker or speaker combination by hitting the mute speaker buttons. Pressing the same button again will bring them back online. When the solo button is engaged in latch mode, pressing any speaker button will silence the rest. In other words, the solo function inverts the mute functions. This is more useful in surround where solos with multiple latchings are necessary for diagnostic listening purposes. Analog stepped attenuator. Digitally controlled attenuators, DCAs, and voltage controlled amplifiers, VCAs, choke your sound and smear imaging, both which lead to poorly informed mix decisions. Instead of these options, Dangerous Music employs an analog stepped attenuator, which rescues your audio from the scarlet letter tyranny by creating pristine channel tracking accuracy and repeatability. In other words, Two o'clock is always two o'clock, and not a random volume, like when utilizing an encoder wheel. Tip. Determine the optimum Fletcher Munson mix level and repeat it every time. The Blues. The PPI, or Producer's Pacification Indicator button, it's designed for thorny producers who want one more version of your perfect mix. Do it again! Toggle between the blue and clear modes, then print whichever pass they select. After all, they're identical. <laughs> Game button. This handy switch will raise minus 10 dBV devices up to plus 4 dBU pro level as desired. Now you can monitor from your computer output, iPod, DVD player, etc., without huge volume knob compensation. To execute, enter setup mode by holding the setup button for one second. The blue light will stay on, indicating that the computer is ready for programming. Next, choose the input that you'd like to alter. The button will blink green. Now press the gain button to toggle between minus 10 and plus 4. Solid blue means minus 10, and clear means plus 4. Once you've completed the changes, hold the setup button to store the settings and exit. Up down buttons. These controls allow level offsets for speakers and inputs during setup. Enter setup mode by holding the setup button for one second. The blue light stays on, indicating that the computer is ready for programming. Next, choose the input that you'd like to alter. The button will blink green. Use the up-down buttons to step the volume between 0, 1.5, 3, and 4.5 dB. The red LEDs will indicate level increase or decrease. The green LED denotes the original setting. Once you've achieved the perfect level, hold the setup button to store the settings and exit. Soft reset. 
While in setup mode, if you change your mind and want to cancel the current changes, simply press the PPI button to exit. Factory Reset If you'd like to reset the Monitor ST to its factory settings, enter setup mode by holding the setup button for one second. It will turn blue. Next, hold the PPI button and it will turn blue. While still holding the PPI button, press and release the LFE button. It will light red. Now release the PPI button and it will exit setup mode and restore the factory settings.